Hey everyone, it's Nelson here with PA Creative. Today I have a special freebie for you. I'm going to show you how to create a really nice looking testimonial slider with just Divi. We're not going to use any expensive plugins. We're going to use just Divi and we're going to hack it up a bit and we're even going to add the reviewers images and it's going to change. You can click on the image, it'll go to the next slide and show their testimonial. So this is really cool. I'm going to show you how to add this free layout that I have to your website. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at this free Divi testimonial slider. Really excited about this. I made this using just Divi um, and some CSS. So what you're seeing here, I'll just show you a little example. You see these little images uh, when you hover, you know, see how, uh, it's a little bit uh, about transparent, maybe 50% until you click on it. And then the one that's active gets a little bigger. Believe it or not, those little images here are the little dots that you see when you're using the slider module. So what we've done is we take those little dots, make them bigger and add an image to them. So it's a little bit of a trick. Um, you, you will have to know how to uh, be able to read a little bit of CSS. You don't need to know how to write it or anything like that. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do to replace your images. But other than that, this is just a Divi module. And I'm going to show you um, basically what you need to do. What I have it as, I have it as a free layout. You can just um, add your email in here. And um, when you, as soon as you click this button, there'll be a download link. And you just download it and import it in your page and I'll show you how to do that right now. So just go to your page or you want the slider, click this purple setting things, use the up and down arrow, click import. Um, we don't want to replace content. So we'll just go and find our file. Okay. So it's a JSON file. Go ahead and import that. And then once it's imported, I can show you a little bit of what's going on with the settings and where the CSS is to change, things like that. So it's gonna be pretty easy. We're using the a code module to put the CSS in here. That way it makes it easy. See all of a sudden, you know, it's it's in here um, just like that. So I'll show you the proof to you. This is just the slider. Here we have four slides. Inside each slide, uh, we have, you know, our text here like this. So, um, you could even add, I thought it'd be cool. I should have done this, add like a five star rating. That would be neat too. So as far as these little images, let's go over here to the grid view and looking for this uh, module that says code. So let's go in there. All right, so in this code, you can see that we have a lot going on, but don't be scared. It's actually not very difficult. So the first one here this here is the image, okay? So what, what you have to do is go to your media library, upload the image, then from the media library, copy this URL, come in here and replace just this, okay? Now you notice it says one here and two, three, four. So you're gonna wanna put the appropriate image at the appropriate number. All right, and that's all you'll have to do to customize this. You don't need to do anything with this code here. That's just the style that it's using to, to create this. So just go to your media library, copy the URL, and replace the one that you want to replace with. Then um, save like that. And if you wanted, you could take this code module. And if you didn't, you know, you wanted to clean up your website a little, you didn't want code modules, you could copy all this, get rid of the style tags, and put it in your theme option CSS if you wanted to have it at your central point, and then you could remove this module from here. But if you want the quick and easy solution, just go ahead and import it, and you'll get this, and you can style it with Divi however you want it. The other option, if you go over to the blog post, you'll see that I have the CSS snippet there as well. So one thing you could do is just start creating your module from scratch. So add your slider module, and here's a list of the things that I did to it, and also some written directions if you like following written directions. So again, you could just copy this snippet here, 
add it and then just customize your module however you want it if you would prefer to build from scratch all right so hopefully you like this and that you can put it to use i really like like it and you know it's funny because people pay a lot of money for a plugin that does this exact thing and all we did was add some css so hopefully you like that okay so i hope you found that useful and it's going to be handy for you to display your testimonials on your website you know i really enjoy the little feature there with uh changing the images so if you find this useful and you used it on your website let me know and let me know how you like to customize divi modules and we'll try to do more tutorials like that so we'll see you in the next video